Hollywood loves turning books into movies. Over two-thirds of the Academy Awards for Best Picture have gone to films that were adapted from books. Filmmakers have a choice in how faithful their adaptation should be to their sources. I don't know how to adapt this. I mean, I, I should have just stuck with my own stuff. I don't know why I thought I could write this. Some films literally go by the book, while others follow the basic plot but modify other thematic elements such as setting, language, and era. If the book is always better than the movie, why would a director ever want to mess with the original? Here are some reasons to consider. Loose adaptations often place a classic text in a modern-day setting, making the story more relatable. Mother, I do not need a blind date, particularly not with some verbally incontinent spinster who smokes like a chimney, drinks like a fish, and dresses like her mother. Audiences can more easily empathize with Emma when she's talking on a flip phone just like them. Mr. Hall was way harsh. He gave me a C minus. <laughs> well, he gave me a C, which drags down my entire average. Hey. Clueless came out in the 90s. They also can frame a literary work in a youthful lens, appealing to a younger crowd. You're not as mean as you think you are, you know that? And you're not as badass as you think you are. Ooh, someone still has her panties in a twist. Don't for one minute think that you had any effect whatsoever on my panties. Then what did I have an effect on? Other than my upchuck reflex, nothing. 1999's Cruel Intentions transformed the sexual escapades of 18th century French aristocrats into the makeout games of teenagers Sarah Michelle Gellar and Reese Witherspoon. Other filmmakers take the original work into a completely disparate area, using the source material to understand contemporary issues. We want our men alive, we want our babies to thrive. We gonna have to organize. Man, you really think something like that could bring peace? Y'all know the power we have over them withholding just a day. A week? Ooh. Imagine a month. In a reimagined setting, a wide range of actors can take on the performance of a literary character. Be not afraid of greatness. Some are born great. Some achieve greatness. And some have greatness thrust upon them. They certainly don't have to be an acclaimed Shakespearean specialist. Although Lemmy did a pretty good job with it in Tromeo and Juliet, a movie that veered from the original Shakespeare in almost every other way. Two households, differences, dried plums and pears in fair Manhattan where we lay our scene. Finally, in a more direct film adaptation, even a small character change or a drop scene has been known to upset a diehard book fan. But these indirect versions have more freedom to make pronounced changes in gender, identity, genre, and tone. Adapting a book in this way allows filmmakers more autonomy to create movies that are their own distinct entity, but also make use of the strong foundations from their original sources. The times and setting may change, but the themes related to human nature are universal. So when you're checking out the latest Hollywood adaptation this year, consider that there might be a good reason the director has taken a few liberties.